chat gpt or gemini which ai is better some people might say chat gpt some people might say gemini but don't listen to those people listen to me instead because i have the most effective way of measuring an ai's capability and that is making a flappy bird game in one hour and rating it out of 10 because remember that flappy bird is a benchmark so sit on your bench and let's start with asking a simple question is making a flappy bird game an easy task uh, with some questionable amount of question mark and the interesting thing is that chat gpd and gemini both said that it depends on the experience of the programmer so let's see how experienced both the ais are but first i will create two folders one for chat gpt another for gemini and both will have two subfolders one for sounds another for asset but now i need all of the sounds and assets but finding them from different parts of the internet is a task on its own so i used my dual core 2.5 petabyte brain to borrow assets and sound from this person on github after that i again used my dual core 2.5 petabyte brain to place the file on their correct position and now i am fully ready to start copying code from our first contender chat gpt and my time starts now so first I wrote these instructions for making the Flappy Bird game. Then I gave it the folder structure so it's easy for it to find the required files and boom. It gave me the step by step instructions and the code. So let's copy and run. Uh, what the f***? Uh, I think so it's my fault because I didn't specify the width and height of my screen and because of that I had to play around with different widths and height for more than 15 minutes and I think so it's finally fixed. But where the hell is ground? Why the pipes are upside down? So at this kind of situation I did what every real man would do confronting the AI and still upside down pipe so i again confronted chat gpt about the upside down pipe and this time i had my full hope i knew this time it was not just spitting out code because it just spat on my face again but third time is the jump so i put my heart and soul and my newly learned english vocabulary to test and this time i finally succeeded so with 26 minutes left, I asked it to add a score counter and a point sound uh, when it crosses a pipe. Let's copy and uh, I think so the sound is bit delayed. So I asked it again to fix it and also to add an end screen that shows you score at the end. And surprisingly, it had made it even worse. So I asked it again to fix this problem and boom, unlimited points. And at this point, I think so I asked it to fix the same problem for more than 4 or 5 times. And of course, it was not fixed. So I asked it to fix the problem without losing my cool. And it was finally fixed. But you get 2 points crossing 1 pipe. But as I'm running out of time, I quickly asked it to create a start screen. Uh, the thing that comes before the game starts. So let's look at the final version of the game. So, wow. It took my suggestion and threw it in the dustbin. Cause where the hell is start screen? But anyways, uh, it's not that great. But still, it made the game with my crappy instruction. So it definitely deserves a 7.9 out of 5. Oh, sorry. 7.9 out of 10. So now let's get started with our second and last contender, Gemini. So let the time begin. So first, I gave it the same instruction as I gave it to ChatGPT on how the game should be, about the folder structure, etc. But strangely, it gave me the code in multiple chunks and it didn't even give me the complete code. So I asked it to generate the entire code based on my description and it gave me the entire code and boom, error. What a great start. So I explained it the error and also told the width and height of the game and it generated a multi-dimensional flappy bird uh, which unfortunately I didn't know how to play. So I turned to Gemini explained the issue with my English vocabulary skills and uh, now the pipes are invisible uh, but at least that's an improvement. So again I asked Gemini to fix it and it did absolutely nothing. That's why I asked it again to fix it and it did absolutely nothing. But as you know third time is the charm and fuck your charm because it fixed absolutely nothing. So at this point, I decided that I don't want to lose my time or brain cells. So I decided to start a new session where I gave it the entire code and asked it to fix the problems. And it gave me half of the code. So I didn't even touch the screen, but still the word is going up. 
So as always, I asked it to fix the problem and of course, it did nothing. And as the time was running out, I again decided to start from beginning and again told it how the game should be and this time, it again forgot to give me the remaining code. So when I told Gemini, it realized its mistake and apologized and this time it gave me the entire code. Uh, which has error. I mean, I can't complain about it because I only asked for the entire code, uh, not error-free code. But anyways, I created completely new sessions multiple times and every single time, it either gave me buggy code or forgot to give me the other half of the code. And this thing went for a while, uh, until the time ran out. So the final version of Gemini's Flappy Bird is a code that only shows an error screen. That's why I will rate Gemini a minus zero out of 10. So the conclusion is ChatGPT is way better than Gemini in terms of coding, uh, according to my experience, of course. I mean, there was some vocabulary exchange with ChatGPT, but still it made the game. So my final opinion is that ChatGPT is the Michael Jordan of AI right now and Gemini is a complete waste of time. Uh, just kidding, it's a complete waste of water. By the way, you can also join my Discord server. Description is in the link.